It is time to go back to the zoo. No, not that zoo. I mean the other zoo, as in Zubuntu. X U B U N T U. Zubuntu is a lightweight Linux-based operating system for B from the Ubuntu family of operating systems. Now I haven't taken a look uh, at Zubuntu. It's been a while. I thought it was time to go back and take a look at Zubuntu. Now this is a lightweight distribution that is done right, and I will explain that in a moment. Let's first go to the website. Zubuntu.org. I like saying that. Zubuntu. Sounds like a specialty drink. Would you care for a drink of Zubuntu? All right, moving along. It says here on the system requirements you need at least 256 megabytes of RAM to install, but they strongly recommend, it says here, 512 megabytes of RAM to run the system. So keep that in mind if you are installing this on an old desktop or laptop. Okay. The standard dot top panel, as you see here, starting from the right, from the right here, you have your shutdown sequence submenu here, desktop recorder that I'm using now to record, and I must say this is rather unimpressive. You would think in the year 2012 there would be a nice standard screencasting recorder for Linux, but alas, not yet. Okay, where were we? We have my internet signal, which is good. The sound menu functions here. Uh, G Music Browser is installed by default. Let's take a quick look at sound settings, and this, this uses the ALSA, ALSA mixer. All right, email, client here. Time and date. Now, this is one application that is done right. Let me right click properties. See here what says, uh, it says custom format. You can change how this looks here but under the clock options, and I don't believe this is available under the other lightweight distribution called Ubuntu. You can change this from 24 hour to 12 hour format, which I will do right now without having to type in any code. That is rather handy. Okay, battery. Let's go to preferences. Now here, if I click battery, when, bat when battery power is critical, most operating, distrib or operating systems don't have the option that says nothing. This one has. I like it. I like that. So I will keep it at nothing and leave it there. User friendly. Another thing that you can do is right click properties and you can customize this here, but more importantly, go to panel. Add new items. Again, this is not available in the other lightweight OS, Lubuntu, and you, and you can add plugins or applets. I like that a lot. And you can see at the bottom is the second panel. If I right click on the desktop, uh, not only do you have the standard menu submenu, but you also have a little bit extra submenu here for your applications. Very nice. All right, this is the standard wallpaper here, which can be changed. I modified some of the uh, desktop shortcuts. These are just uh, some images here. Total OS today, I just used this using GIMP and the shortcuts and links here at the top in the panel bar. Of course, the bottom is the docky or dock. It's not docky, it's just the second panel. There is a program called docky that you can download. And this is also, you can move this around if you want to. And I have it set to auto hide. Let's take a quick look at the software that is installed. Web browser, mail reader, settings, sub and settings and menu submenu. Accessories, your submenu here. Games, graphics, internet, Firefox, of course, is installed by default. Multimedia. And let's see. I installed Desktop Recorder, which works okay. Kazam Screencaster, the latest version, doesn't work. VLC should have been installed by default, but it was not. But it should be. It's, it's terrific. Uh, multimedia player for both Linux and Windows. Office, of course, there is no LibreOffice. There is Abbey Word, which is fine. Keep in mind, this is a lightweight distribution. Your system settings here. The Ubuntu Software Center which is the place to go if you would like to download software without using the terminal command or the synaptic package manager. Now this is clean, but the only thing I don't like when you highlight or click install, 
You should be able to just, you know, click internet or double click or whatever you want to highlight, but you're forced to go way to the left of the teeny weeny button to get your submenu here of your installed applications, in this case, Office. Now this is one thing I don't like. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but I would prefer just to highlight, you know, sound and video and go from there. All right, I mentioned the, the bottom panel here. If I go here to the top, uh, panel, panel preferences, the bottom panel can be customized by just going to panel 2 and you can lock the panel, automatically show and hide the panel, so on and so forth. So very, very user friendly as far as that goes. So if you are a uh, Windows user and wanting to try something simple uh, for an older machine or really for a newer machine, uh, I've installed this in a uh, newer machine, a dual core with three, uh, 3 gigs of RAM it wasn't really necessary to install a lightweight distribution in my machine because this particular one can handle just about anything out there but I just wanted to check it out it's snappy it's zippy I've been running this for what two three days it's very stable I like it a lot so let's see I didn't write down the the ratings here but off the top of my head stability I'll give 20 points software uh, I will give 20 points, although I do believe that um, VLC should have been installed by default. Navigation, I'll give 20 points. Uh, user friendliness, friendliness, I will give another uh, 20 points. If you are running Windows 7, Windows XP, or whatever you are running, I don't think you'll have a problem. Let's see, the last thing would be bugs. I uh, have not encountered any bugs yet. That doesn't mean that there isn't any bugs. But for now, uh, in the last two days using it, no bugs. I will also give that a 20. So if you do the math, 20 times 5 is 100 points. Yay! I am giving Zubuntu a perfect score of 100 points so far. And let me stress, so far, that doesn't mean that there aren't any glitches in it. I just haven't noticed. But so far, it is looking good. Congratulations to the Zubuntu team. Check it out, Windows folks. You may like this as an alternative or installing this as a dual boot. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will catch you guys and girls sometime in the future. Hey, that's Microsoft calling me now. Sorry, can't answer the phone. Bye.